Why am I nervous, you ask? Because I am standing at the very top of the Matterhorn, 150 feet above Disneyland. 150 feet above Disneyland? What was I thinking? And with me all the way up here is the very beautiful and also very nervous Tashina Arnold, who you can usually see as Pam on the hit series, Martin. Hi, Tashina. Hi, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I've got this straight. You intend to fly like the wind uh -huh. along this little cable yeah. that, that is 600 feet long, the length of two football fields, and way, 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 way above the ground, all the way over to Frontierland, which is on the other side of the park, right? Now that you've made me feel much more comfortable, yes. Yeah, and uh, have you ever done anything like this before? Heck no! <laughs> okay, no. then why in the world would somebody who has a good job on a hit show do something like this? because somebody talked me into it. <laughs> you know what the folks at home are thinking? They're thinking, she's out of her mind. I am. You know that, okay. You gotta be a little crazy to do this. You gotta be. Inside Editions, Rick Kirkham, our backstage interviewer here in the park, is on the other end of the wire, and he's going to start the countdown. Does he have arms? Can he help me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Circus of the Stars presents Ooh. the very brave Tashina Arnold and the truly death-defying Slide for Life. Good luck, Tashina. We'll see you in about 30 seconds. We hope, anyway. Help. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm afraid of heights. Look at her hand. Look at her hand here. I'm afraid of heights. Could you believe it? Tell us what it was like. Uh, um, it's cool. I'm going to do it again. No, listen, you did a beautiful job. We want to congratulate you, you on this. And I'll tell you what, i got to try this sometime, but not today. I want to find out who talked me into this. <laughs> Tashina, that was great. And there's lots more fireworks to come. Tonight, Circus of the Stars goes to Disneyland with big top performances by the popular music group All For One. From TV's Martin to Sheena Arnold, Home Improvement's Zachary Ty Bryan, comedian Phyllis Diller, Home Improvement's Debbie Dunning, The Bold and the Beautiful's Shea Harrison, My So-Called Life's A.J. Langer, comedian Vicki Lawrence, from Empty Nest, David Leisure, I'll Fly Away's Ashley Levitch, Name Your Adventures, Mario Lopez, from The Young and the Restless, Shamar Moore, from California Dreams, Kelly Packard, The Respini Brothers, Fresh Prince of Bel Air's Alfonso Rivero, comedian Paul Rodriguez, Blossom's Jenna Von Oy, from Dave's World, J.C. Wendell, TV's original Batman, Adam West, from Picket Fences, Adam Wiley, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, David Yost, and Disneyland's Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, Roger Rabbit, all joining the circus tonight, along with ETV's Michael Kastner and Inside Edition's Rick Kirkham. In Disneyland, our ringmaster, Harry Anderson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, under our Circus of the Stars Big Top, Ringmaster Scott Bayo and Leslie Nielsen. Yes, how do you do? Good to see you. Good to see you, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to... Circus of the Stars goes to Disneyland. It's the 19th annual and possibly our greatest show yet. Circus of the Stars in Disneyland. You know, in the whole world of fun and laughter, I don't, I don't think we left anything out. Trapeze? Yeah. Tigers? Yep. High wire? Yes. Um, 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 uh, Leslie? Uh, Blow the whistle. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello, Goose here. It's Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Roger Rabbit. All right, guys. Hold it. Hold it. Hold that at the end. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's our Circus of the Stars mystery clown. Someone will be seeing a lot more of throughout the show. And you'll also be hearing clues to our clown's identity. Oh, I remember. And then at the end of the show, we reveal who is the clown right. and uh, that makeup there. See you later, clown.
Well, that's gonna be fun. Hey, Mickey, in the meantime, Mickey, what brings you and your pals inside the tent here? Well, we just happened to be in the neighborhood and uh, I thought we'd say hi and bring you a Disneyland welcome. Right, gang? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you all, that's really very nice. Of course, Mickey. Aren't you forgetting something? What is it, Mickey? Oh, gosh. We were just sort of hoping to do an act in the circus, too. Yeah. Well, gee, Mickey, it's a bit awkward, but uh, you see, most of the stars who perform in the circus are, are actors. Hey, we can act. This is the last. Ask the one you stand, baby. That's uh, pretty impressive there, Don. Not bad. It sounds just like Don, doesn't it? But you see, the thing is that we're talking about actors who are, you know, either making hit TV series or uh, making mega buck movies, you know? Gorge! I love the movies! Oh, oh me. my God. Yeah, Goofy, I'm talking about <laughs> stars who have been rehearsing their acts now for months. Oh, <laughs> well, if we come up with a really good act, then can we join the others? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But right now, I think uh, our star animal trainer is anxious to begin the big cat act. As in lions and tigers? Uh, Minnie and I are uh, yeah. uh, allergic. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's go see if we can think up a good act, huh? Oh, good night, Let's go. We'll see you later. What a bunch of characters, huh? Yeah, that's what Walt said. And now let's go over to ETV's Michael Kastner. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Kastner. Very happy to be here backstage at the Circus of the Stars. At least I thought I was. Kelly Packard. <laughs> Is this your idea of a stroll or what? No, actually, Michael, uh, Chris, my trainer, and I are getting ready to walk him out to join his buddy. I, I got to be honest with you. This is just a little bit different than how I picture you on your TV show, California Dreams. I mean, admit it to me. Weren't you just a little bit afraid the first time you went to the cat cage? I'm more afraid now than I was then. Uh, I'm realizing what they're capable of, so now I'm scared. But then I was just crazy and went in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. What was the reaction when you first walked into the cage? Not your reaction, their reaction, the cats. Reaction? They could care less that I was in there, and they didn't want to do anything I told them. <laughs> do you know exactly what point the cats respected you? Kelly, we gotta go now. I will find out if they respect me today, won't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck. There she goes, 19-year-old Kelly Packard, the youngest star ever to no problem. Oh, she's the youngest star ever to walk into the big cat cage. Cats, cats, cats. You know, I have done a number of cat acts in my time with a variety of species, the Siamese, Burmese, uh, Pekingese, uh, Alley. Now, tonight, we have a big cat act which includes eight enormous beasts, six Bengal tigers, and two ferocious African lions. So we have a young and beautiful wild animal trainer. She co-stars as Tiffany on the hit series, California Dream. But tonight, she faces 4,000 pounds of snarling jungle beasts. Our 102-pound dream girl, Kelly Packard. Move up and lay down. Tee a seat. Tee a seat. Five seat. Good boy. Shame it, Dan. Chase Dan. Right place. Right place. Good. Five seat. One seat. CR seat. CR seat. This is what we call a tush push. Uh, the uh, average weight uh, of the cats Darcy. is 500 pounds, five times as much as Kelly, hey, if they choose to boss her around. Down. Right down. Right down. Down. 
Farmer's Market in Los Angeles. I was scared, you know, they were so big and, and overwhelming, but and my first thought was just, you know, a piece of cake. They're tame. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> to uh, get them to do anything, I had to harshen my voice and, and make it at least sound more like Chris's and very stern, and so I went home and practiced. <laughs> and my voice has definitely changed. It's in there. I didn't know it was, but... <laughs> Come on, Shay, see? Get out there. Come on, get up there, Shay. Usually, if I'm doing a trick, oh, I'd say 75% of the time, another cat will jump down and decide that he wants to distract my trick. You know the troublemakers, and you know which ones you don't want down, so if someone yells to knock it down, I'm going to stop whatever I'm doing and go get him back on his seat, if he doesn't scare me in the meantime. <laughs> Good boy, Shane. Come on. Shame and walk it. Shame and walk it. Good boy. Shame and walk it. Come on, Shame and walk it. Good boy. Walk it. Walk it. Good boy. Okay. Ah! Shame car. Shame and car. Car. Steady. Car. Car. Steady. Car. Car. Leave him alone. Car. Up. Steady, Shay. Car. Up. Car. 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 Steady, Shay. Steady. Walk it. Shame and steady. Walk it, walk it, shame and walk it. Shay, shame and walk it. Walk it. Okay, Shay, feet. Nice and round. Come on, Shay, Walk it. Good boy, guys. Walk it. Give it to me. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Walk it. Good boy. 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 Good Come on, Damon, get up on it. Come on, Damon, get up on it. Come on, boy. Get up there. Good boy. Come on. Come on, get up there. Eat me afterwards. Good boy, Daddy. Misha, down. Misha, down. Come on, Misha, let's go. Misha, hop. Misha, hop. Misha, hop. Come on, Misha, hop. Misha, hop. Hop. Good girl. Y'all down. I'm too high in the Y'all up. Fangs and claws. She appears 
absolutely fearless. Ladies and gentlemen, champ Kelly Packer. Hey, hey, just a minute. I think I hear our mystery clown. Grab a pencil and write down the clues if you want to, because here comes the first one. Our clown's TV character shares a name with the most famous clown ever. Charlie Chaplin. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Kastner, and what you're seeing is the beginning of a high-wire act you're never going to forget. It promises all the tension, emotion, and excitement that we expect to find on the soaps that these two remarkable actors star in. The bold and the beautiful Shay Harrison, and from the young and the restless, Shamar Moore. You know, I came up the easy way, up the ladder, but I understand. She must have helped you with a fear of heights. <laughs> You're right. My trainer has taught me that it's not a fear of heights, it's a respect of heights. So what you're feeling right now is respect for That's where you're right. at. <laughs> Could I ask you not to shove me like that again? Just a little thing, because I do have a fear. See, this is real sweat in my hands right now. Okay, are you guys ready to go? Ready We're ready. Go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're going to stay calm, cool, and collected. And they are going to absolutely amaze you and me. I'm going to climb down. Good luck, you guys. We'll see you later. Also coming up, look for Morphin Power in Toontown, our Fem Flyers in flight, and a mystery clown. On a narrow steel wire this evening, two strikingly handsome and extremely capable young actors are playing the part of a circus high wire team and playing it with unbelievable conviction. In fact, I'd say we're in for an award-winning performance. Here's the stunning actress who for seven years has played the part of Darla on The Bold and the Beautiful, Shay Harrison. And her partner for tonight, the bright young actor who plays Malcolm on The Young and the Restless, Shamar Moore. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our fabulous Circus of the Stars High Wire team.
This routine is called the Swan. It's also called Picture Perfect. They may be able to perform a swan routine now, but they were ugly ducklings when they started rehearsing at the original farmer's market. All of our tricks were learned on the wire that's about two feet from the ground. That's where we started. Our first week, I don't think we could barely even walk across the two-foot wire. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Leon, our trainer, will not take us up to the high wire unless we've got it on the low one. So once we learn a trick, we take them up to the high wire. And it was like virtually learning it all over again because the height really kind of plays with your mind. This is high. This is high. This is the high wire. <laughs> the wire is, is constant. Concentration. Yeah, concentration and discipline. You cannot lose focus for any moment because you're on a wire. That Your balance is so key. If you're not concentrating, you lose it. You know, you really have to become one with the wire, your balance position, and the pole. And I get so frustrated because I come so close, so close. I almost stand up and then I fall on my butt. And I keep falling and falling. I've fallen on my butt a million and one times. If I can come from the fear heights that I have to be able to walk across a wire at 10 feet up to 20, 25 feet, you people out there can do anything you want to as long as you try. <laughs> uh. No, but we've... Uh, Considering where we've come from in nine weeks, we're excited. We're real excited. Real proud you. and real excited. It's much more difficult to walk the wire without a pole. Because the pole helps them maintain their balance. I gotta tell you, it's hard to believe they could accomplish these routines in just 10 weeks. I mean, considering the fact they were doing their own shows at the same time, it's remarkable dedication.
Shay and Shamar. And they salute their trainer, Leon Ford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Circus of the Stars High Wire team. Let's leave the tent and head for Toontown. I'm here now with home improvement star Zachary Ty Bryan, Adam Wiley from Ticket Fences, and of course David Yost, one of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Guys, you're going to be doing an acrobatic act tonight on the show, but you guys are different sizes and, and ages. How'd you ever work this thing out? The fact that Adam's smaller, it, it makes it easier for some of the acts because he stands on my shoulders, and Zach can do certain tricks that Adam can't, and I can do certain tricks that they can't, so it all works out. Now, the three of you are from three different shows. How'd you ever find time to schedule rehearsals for this? We kind of made days on Tuesdays and Thursdays where we could all make it because we got off work around the same time so we could make it to um, the Circus of the Stars to practice for our act. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun and looking forward to doing a good job up here. And, Adam, what about working with this mighty Morphin Power Ranger? Uh, he's cool. I like him. I like working with him. He's good to work with, and it's really nice. All right. Well, good luck, guys, and we'll be back to see their incredible acts right after this. Also coming up, zany animal trainer Phyllis Diller, plus jazzy jokester juggler Vicki Lawrence. Toontown, where you're going to find some of the happiest people in the whole world. That's because Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and Roger, they live right here, along with, of course, my pals, Chip and Dale. <laughs> so, how about it, guys? You want to help me introduce the next act? Sure! Okay! Okay! Take your places, everybody. <laughs> okay, everybody ready? Here they are from the award winning series Picket Fences, Adam Wiley. From the popular sitcom Home Improvement, Zachary Ty Bryan. <laughs> Okay, now get ready, fellas, because from the mighty Morphin Power Rangers, here comes a young actor who plays Billy, the Blue Ranger, David Yost! With their trainers, Richie and Martine, ladies and gents, our Toontown Tumblr. Well, I guess it's all 
obvious that circus power works too. Along with their trainers, our Toontown tumblers, Adam Wiley, Zachary Ty Bryan, and David Young. And now I think we better get back to the tent. The mystery clown is next. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Hey, hey watch it now. This is the rebel. A TV doctor has no patience with our clown who plays his next door neighbor. Can a peanut brittle? This better not be a trick. I'm warning you. Okay. I told you. <laughs> now, of all the circus skills, juggling is the most difficult. Jugglers require agility, timing, and coordination. And that's where we book a comedian. But she's a coordinated comedian. With her juggling teachers and partners, the Raspini brothers, it's Vicki Lawrence. Dan and Barry, the Raspini brothers, they are the world's greatest jugglers <laughs> in their price range. Uh, Barry and Dan have lovingly consented to allow me to juggle with them well, this evening. Well, actually, Vicki, that's not true. But you can stand there, look pretty, point and smile. Take that, Dan. Ooh. Vicki, you want to be careful with those. If you throw them too hard, you could injure the catcher's hand. Really? Yeah. What do you care? You're not catching them, Barry. <laughs> Neither are you. <laughs> okay, you're right. Go ahead and whip them, Adam. Okay, I'm tired now. Good job. <laughs> wow. Wow. But now, Vicky, let's see you catch up and then throw them back. Well, there you go, Dan. Nice and easy. Make sure they're just a plain toss. How about toss. A, an underhanded No, just, uh, just a plain toss. How about a point? football toss? Going along, don't in throw the... I don't How about a punt? Throw... No, no don't punt. Oh. Don't kick it. Whatever you do, don't do How about line. a blind uh, toss? Don't. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Which one of those did you like the best, guys? The plane. Plane, plane was good for me. Well. I got a good idea that'll keep you out of trouble. Here, take this one. Run around, Dan. Throw the thing back to me. Right into my hand. No, Vicky. Perfect. Grab that oh. one. Run around, Barry, and toss it back to me. Okay. Here, don't relax. Richard Simmons could probably make a fortune with us. <laughs> we can call it juggle size. Right, I'm ready for you. Just oh, oh. I'm getting really tired now, guys. But there's still the seventh club. Walk around the pattern. You. Walk around, around the pattern, the pattern and, and don't go through. Don't. Does you. I know. This time. Go around the pattern. And Walk then... around the pattern. Whatever you do, don't get stuck in the middle. No matter. Don't. don't. Whoa. This is really scary. Remember to smile. <laughs> You're doing great. They love you. Take a bow. Ladies and gentlemen, to add this seventh club into this pattern would be virtually impossible to do perfectly. All right, Vicky, for real. Here we go. Up. we have saved for last. We call it the Seven Club Shuffle. All right, Dad. One, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. But wait, Vicky. There's still one more thing. What's that, Dad? For you to catch them all. Here we go. Here we go. No, no. Yikes. No. Wait. Stop.
up next on Circus, Ringmaster Harry pitches tonic, and our flyers will seem like they're supersonic. Standing here in Disneyland, the home of Mickey Mouse, reminds me to tell you that once again we are dedicating our show to a wonderful organization called Give Kids the World, which every year helps fulfill the wishes of thousands of children with life-threatening illnesses. And of course, the wish most kids make is to meet none other than, you guessed it, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Did somebody call me? Yeah, I was just talking about you, Mickey, and about Give Kids the World. And we'll talk more about that later. But uh, hey, how about that big cat act? Did they scare you? Well, I, uh, gee, maybe just, just a, a little. <laughs> how about you, Harry? Oh, me? No, no. I'll tell you, in my early days in show business, I used to travel to the farthest corners of the earth searching for strange phenomenon and peddling my wares. Once I was lost in adventure land, out of water, out of food, out of luck. When all of a sudden before me there in the jungle, I came upon the temple of the forbidden eye. Looky, 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 friends, I've got it here and I'm going to sell it to you now. It's Ladies Anthea's elliptical, asiatical, pendicurical, nervous cordial and elixir. That's right. Lady Xanthia's own secret mixture of the roots and bark of the Siamese salamander tree blended with the pollen of the East Indian mango bush. Now, friends, I'm not going to insult your intelligence by calling this elixir here a cure-all, because it ain't. If you break every bone in your body, this elixir ain't going to help. No, sir, you got to drag yourself off to the doctor, boy. Oh, but for your everyday, ordinary, common household ailments. Ladies, Anthias is a positive, specific, and a godsend to humanity. And who better to give testimony to my claims than a woman who would bear the entire burden of this enterprise on her shoulders if she had any. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of our corporation, Lady Anthea. My Xanthia's elixir for onions, for That's right, and remember, friends, that this elixir, when mixed with club soda or ginger ale, makes a sparkling summer beverage or a delicious polish for black or tan shoes. And remember that every bottle of Lady Xanthia's is exactly seven and three quarters inches high and may be used as a tape measure. Furthermore, <laughs> Lady Xanthia's... <coughs> Lady Xanthia's is a fine soothing for minor throat irritation. Zanthi has magic tonic for every known disease. When Grandpa is bubonic or when the dog has fleas. And keep in mind, friends, that this, this product, like every Lady Zanthia product, is not guaranteed for a day. No, it's not guaranteed for a week. No, it's not guaranteed for a month. No, it's just not guaranteed. Zanthi has elixir when you're one sick in bed. If Zanthi I'd say she's better dead, but then I'm just a head. Zanthia's Miracle Elixir, available wherever unlabeled pharmaceutical products are sold. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty exciting, wasn't it, Mickey? Mickey! You know, the uh, singing head you saw there was none other than J.C. Wendell, who stars with me in a wonderful show called Dave's World. So, Mickey, what do you say we go back to the tent, huh? Okay. You know, there's one act in the circus that I've never been off, and it would suit me admirably. It's an act for a sophisticated and elegant comedian, one who has a flair for words, a charming delivery, and a cheerful smile. <laughs> well... If I can't do it, there's no one better to present it than that delightful comedian who loves laughing more than anyone we know. Here is Miss Phyllis Diller and Friends. Thank you very, very much. And here we are on Sunbonnet Sue with the Pork Chop Review. <laughs> and for our first big thing that we're going to do, okay. Jump, 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 radar. Jump, jump. Good boy! Sing, sing, radar, sing! Come on, Clarence. Clarence gonna do the same thing. Wait till you see this pig. One of the great pigs of the world. Aha, now up and over. Okay, Clarence, up and over. Up and over. 
All right, Clarence, back to your seat. Seat. All right. All right. Barney, come on, let's go. We got traffic here now. Two of them moving at the same time. Okay, up, Barney. Up we go. Come on, roll the barrel for me. Up, up, Barney, up. Up. The other one, come on. There we are. Come on, Barney. This way, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Barney, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Now then. Oh, where is my baby? Where is my baby? I lost my baby. <laughs> oh, there, there, here. <laughs> Up. Come on, up. Good boy. All right. Good boy. See. Good boy. See. Now then, Grimly. Grimly, your big trick. Okay. Here we go, Grimly. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a big E I E I O. With a here and a there and here a there a everywhere and old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o la da 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 good pig all right pig comedians come and go but here's to forever with miss phyllis diller Let's go backstage now with interviewer Michael Kastner. Don't they look beautiful, everybody? Home Improvements, Debbie Dunning, Blossoms, Jenna Vonoy, and from my soul call life, A.J. Langer. You know, I definitely say there's a feminine side to the trapeze act, wouldn't you say? No, what makes you say that? <laughs> Probably the outfits, I would say. <laughs> Do you really get the feel that you're flying through the air? That's what it is. That's what it is. I mean, you feel like a, like a bird, you know? Well, it takes a little bit to get to where it feels actually <laughs> graceful. <laughs> but... How many times have you fallen? Oh, numerous times. I mean, every day. You have to fall a lot because you have to learn how to fall. Yeah. That's half the time. I think I might have fallen once. <laughs> <laughs> right, nice try. <laughs> you would. You would just fall once. For my life, no. We always fall. Yeah. Absolutely no fear before you get going, right? Well, you've got to have it up here and in here, you know? I mean, you've got to have the knowledge of the... Roger, Roger, Roger. You know, this star crazy tune will do absolutely anything, go anywhere to get an autograph. Roger, you've got to get out of here. They've got to prepare their act. These lovely ladies are going to be doing their act when we come back in just a moment. Don't go away. Also coming up, and even further up, Mario Lopez. And all for one sings their hit, I Swear. Tonight, for the first time ever on Circus of the Stars, we have an all-woman trapeze team. Hey, gang, what's going on up there? It's Roger Rabbit, and he's out of control. <laughs> oh, come on, Roger. I've heard of fans going up to the stars asking them for their autograph, but climbing up a 40-foot ladder to get them? You are a wild man. I mean, Rabbit. Yeah, well, we think he's more chicken than Rabbit. He's afraid to get down. Yeah, you know, I think I can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> now that Roger's gone, why don't we introduce you to your adoring but better behaved fans, okay? From the hit sitcom Home Improvement, the terrific and talented tool time lady herself, Debbie Dunning. In the new drama series, My So Called Life, the delightful young actress with the party time personality, A.J. Langer. <laughs> TV comedy Blossom, the sassy sidekick and everybody's best friend, Jenna Vonoy. <laughs> Assisting them tonight are trainers Richie Diona, Martin Rodriguez, and our catchers, Terry Emilio and Alex Ramos. And now our flying femme fatales are finally ready for flight. Ladies and gentlemen, our Circus of the Stars Flyers. <laughs> 
Jumping Jenna splits off the board and will return with that complicated bird's nest routine. Lisa! Okay, AJ getting ready for a feed across and the first of their exciting climbs to our top catcher. They're real flyers now. The landing approach was the only thing they understood when they started rehearsals 10 weeks ago at LA's famous farmer's market. That's probably the biggest fear is just being up there and looking down, just letting go and trusting Richie and the other guys that you'll be okay is probably one of the hardest things. And I said, man, how hard could that be if they could teach actors to do it, you know? First of all, you gotta get a good jump and get your feet out in front of you, keep your chest up, get ready to break back and clear the bar. Now that's just in the first split second. Now every other second of the entire trick, you're thinking 12 things at the same time. And a lot of them are very similar, so it gets a little overwhelming. You are not only being taught how to jump off the platform, how to do the trick itself, which is you know very difficult to begin with, how to be caught, how to get back to the bar and back to the platform, but you're also being taught if you fall, to fall correctly. That hurts. You can flip over backwards or forwards or land. I mean, I've landed in the strangest positions. <laughs> well, the other day, um, kind of ran into Terry up there. We hit so hard. Oh, God. I, I thought I had broke his nose. I don't know, there's so many things that happen so fast that once you get back to that platform, you look at everybody and you're like, did I do it? And they're like, yeah, I did it. You guys okay. knew each other before this? No. AJ and I knew each other, but I don't think either of us knew Debbie. No, nor did we want to. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> she cute? <laughs> Jenna now with a routine called a bird's nest and that most difficult climb upwards. Hold. Lisa! Sounds easier than it is. And a half turn to the platform, which sounds impossible. can I say? They're remarkable. Now, Debbie attempts a knee-hang-to-legs routine, then that incredible climb. 
And then, my favorite return. You guessed it. Ready. AJ takes a plunge with a plane before attempting that climb. And a half turn back to her friends. Ready! Jenna keeps us on the edge of our seats, going for a complicated seat roll and an angel return. Jenna's got a lot of guts and courage. She's going to try this again. Lisa! Somewhere. If you're going to try this again. Lisa! They passed down that rosin. My palms are sweating just thinking about what's going to happen next. Jen and Debbie are going for a passing leap. Difficult routine, even for two professions. experience for us as well as those beautiful determined women up there and their catchers and their trainers.
Ladies and gentlemen, Janet Von Oy, Debbie Dunning, and A.J. Langer, our fabulous circus of the Stars Flyers. Let's see what's going on outside our big cop at Disneyland. I'm here now with Name Your Adventures Mario Lopez, who's getting ready to go up on this, this, what is this thing anyway? Uh, it's called a sway pull, Rick, and uh, basically it's a pole that, whichever way you lean your weight, it, it sways that way. And I'm going to be climbing that. Now, wait a minute. This thing is 65 feet tall, and you're going to be swaying around up there? Well, not just swaying. Um, I'm going to be doing different types of tricks. Hopefully, I'll be doing different types of tricks if I can pull them up. Now, wait a minute. I understand that you actually have a fear of heights, and you're still going up there? I, I thought I didn't, but when I started doing this act, it, it was a little scary. So, hopefully, I'll be able to overcome it. So, I guess tonight, anyway, from your perspective up there, it's going to be a pretty tall world, after all. Definitely a tall world. Well, i got to be going, so I'll let you know how it goes. Good luck, Mario. And we'll be back to see Mario perform this incredible daredevil stunt right after this. Also coming up on Circus, the musical madness of all Rodriguez and the fancy footwork World of... World attraction, not Pirates of the Caribbean. So cut that out. You're making me seasick. But Harry, we heard they were looking for stars to sway on the circus. <laughs> so we're rehearsing. <laughs> You'd all make great-looking rockets, but the producers are looking for a big star who's willing to sway on a pole 65 feet above the ground. Uh-oh. Well, lucky for us, the producers found a young actor who's adventurous enough to do this. Maybe that's why he stars in the new television series, Name Your Adventure. We also know him from Saved by the Bell. Okay, everyone, look up to Mario Lopez. like a finale than a beginning. Just standing straight up takes an enormous amount of concentration, physically and mentally, because he doesn't know in what direction that pole is going to sway. except his shorts to hang on to up there. And I don't see an airbag or a safety net anywhere. breaks away from it completely, he'll be okay. Hey, if that's not the height of courage, I don't know what is. Congratulations, Mario! With his trainer, Vinicio Vasquez. Ladies and gentlemen, Mario Lopez. And now, back to our tent for one of my favorite stars. America has recently gone crazy over World Cup soccer, but tonight, the game has gone to the dogs. Come back, 
back here. Lassie wouldn't do that. You all right? I'm not exactly sure what this soccer team is all about, but I'm sure that the good sport in the ring is none other than the classic Batman himself, Mr. Adam West. Let the games begin. film New Age, ladies and gentlemen, Adam West. Coming up soon on Circus, Minnie Mouse shoots her very own film, and Ringmaster Harry turns Big Shot Magician. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful musical treat for you by special arrangement. Uh, ooh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really embarrassed. I, I came out here ready to introduce our Circus of the Stars Orchestra and our special star conductor. But our musicians have obviously gone with the winds and the horns and the strings, and I'm sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> uh, but I'm afraid our big-time star conductor is really going to be upset, so... What am I going to say? Well, I guess I'll just say welcome to our very special star conductor, Maestro Paul Rodriguez.
conducted himself with great flair and great fun, along with his trainer, Denis Lacombe, who created the act, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Rodriguez! <laughs> Let's see what the mystery clown is up to. Our mystery clown was also a well-known pitch man. Circus, Harry Anderson tosses a trick, and our acrobats do a tricky toss. And that, my friends, is a social phenomenon that's been around ever since actors were watching movies in black and white, and then we'll meet to talk about them later in their favorite restaurants. You know what? Let's, let's go back to 1928. And watch a couple of actors table hopping, circus style. In the award-winning series, I'll Fly Away, The Madcap and Marvelous... Ashley Levitch. And the popular co-star of the hit series, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The Devilish and Debonair, Alfonso Ribeiro. hip to hop. <laughs> Joining in on the fun, their trainers, Richie Guyona and Martin Rodriguez.
me go in! Get off! All right. I'm ready then. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 Trainers, a terrific tabletop twosome, Ashley Levitch and Alfonso Rivero. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show. That's right. This is our opportunity to introduce you to Give Kids the World, a wonderful organization dedicated to fulfilling the wishes of children with life threatening illnesses. Take a look at this. I think you might like what you see. The home of Give Kids the World is Kids Village in Orlando, Florida, a unique facility devoted to making the dreams of very special children come true. Upon arrival at Kids Village, wish children and their families are housed in charming cottages, from the gingerbread house to the specially built swimming pool accessible to all. It's a place of joy and carefree laughter. Last year, Circus of the Stars was proud to help inaugurate the Kids Village Castle of Miracles for children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. Kids Village provides the most precious gift of all time. Time to laugh, time to play, time to be together with those they love, and a time for all to refill themselves with hope and courage for the difficult journey ahead. And that's just one small piece of the magic to be found in a very special place called Give Kids the World. If you'd like to learn more about Give Kids the World, write to the address you see on your screen. Kids everywhere will be glad you did. Right, kids? Yeah! Yay! And we'll be right back after this. Coming up next, it's Minnie Mouse directing the action. Later, All for One will sing for you. I swear. I'm watching Minnie taking pictures of Mickey and the fellas rehearsing their act. I won't interrupt them. <laughs> Gee, fellas, I don't think this is going to work. Minnie, I understand that you've been taking pictures of just about everybody while they've been rehearsing, huh? Uh-huh. I'm making a mini documentary about all the stars, the new friends our stars have made, and, and the fun they're having. I might have known it. You're making a mini documentary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Leslie, I never thought of that. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful idea. Would you like to see what I've got so far? Of course. Well, it's the strangest thing. Oh, they all think their act is best. I don't know. I always come out to watch the trapeze, and my dad said, he goes, if you're going to do this circus, you better be doing that trapeze, so... 
Here I am. I see the girls on the trapeze, and they're looking beautiful, and it looks difficult. I still shudder. I think everyone is going to come out to Circus of the Stars to see us on the high wire. In the high wire, it looks great and everything, but... Trapeze, schmeez, high wire, schmy wire. That's just swinging and catching and swinging. Listen to you know him. The man Flipping knows what he's talking catching. about. You know, this cat act is definitely the best, and the best routine out there, and I'm going to kill them all, so it's okay. <laughs> Our act, as far as human tricks, is mm. the best act. It's the best. The best. Act the act best. Act. Just no wait. question. The real act to check out this year is the sway pole. See, the, the comedy table, the comedy you, got table be, act. you got to be, you got to see the, with the comedy, the, the comedy, table, and the comedy and the fighting, tapping and the, and the laughing the and, the, and the sliding and the flipping and the catching and the everything. jumping. Two town tumblers rule. We might not have the, the best act, but so we but. look the best. <laughs> hmm. Well, thank you, Minnie. You really helped us to know our actors a little better and to find out why they really love being part of the Circus of the Stars. Yeah, I know I do, you know. I keep on coming back. Which reminds me, I've got work to do. While I'm gone, why don't you uh, look under this cover? Oh, for me? Oh, why, thank you. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, thank you. And now, let's leave the tent and head for Toontown. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No, 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 it's always... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and... Huh? Oh, <laughs> hi. <clears throat> Ladies and, uh, uh, oh gosh, oh yeah, uh, here he is, uh, the star of Dave's World, Harry Anderson. <laughs> oh, my God, that's over. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, gather round for the most amazing and amusing, educational and confusing feat of Hindu scapopathomy yet witnessed by human eyes. It's a little game of hanky-poo, two for me and one for you. Follow the queen and you win plenty. Five will get you ten. And ten will get you twenty. Hey, diddle diddle, she's the one in the middle. Which one is she? Now, what do you say? What do you say? Come on, come on. Some say left, some say right. You gotta follow close, you gotta follow close. Oh, you know, I feel I may have entered a bit of confusion into the proceedings. Perhaps we're using too many cards. We'll put this one aside for you. That will leave us only to follow the lady, follow the lady. Which one? Which one is she now? Some say left, some say right. I feel just awful. I feel just awful. You know. You know, I shouldn't be telling you this, but you're such nice folks, and it's just between us. You should know that there's no way you're going to win this game because there's a trick to it. Oh, yes. But it's not in the cards. No, they are just paper and ink. You've got to follow the guy who shuffles the pasteboard. He's the one to watch with his beguiling ways and his clever patter. Because while he's holding the cards here with these hands, this hand does the dirty work. <laughs> so you don't stand a chance because it's not, it's not whether you win or lose. It's whether I win or lose. And don't you forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Harry Anderson. And now, let's go to my pal Rick at Sleeping Beauty Castle. <laughs> I'm here this evening with the sensational singing group All For One, who one by one just happen to be Jamie, Delius, Alfred, and Tony. Guys, welcome to Circus of the Stars. Thank you very much. Us. You know, you guys come from such different backgrounds. Everyone probably wants to know how in the world you ever got started. Well, actually, Alfred and I, we grew up together. We've been singing together for eight or nine years or so. We met Jamie at a talent contest at the college we were attending, and he could take it from there. And uh, we did radio station jingles together. And uh, for fun, Tony and I entered a karaoke show, and that's where we met Delius. Now, the song you're going to be singing for us tonight is your mega hit, I Swear, which I understand spent 11 weeks in the number one position. That's got to be a record. Yeah, I think it was like the third longest winning single in history. We tied with Elvis and was topped by Whitney Houston and Boys to Men, End of the Road. Oh, that's great. How are you guys handling all this success? Well, just trying to cope with it one day at a time. But having a good time at it. You bet. You know, I've been coming to Disneyland since I was a kid, and now I bring my own kids. We come early and we stay late until the witching hour, when out here in Fantasyland, our favorite characters have a little time of their own, like these two. 
Jasmine and Aladdin. Oh, hey, Harry. Hey, guys. Jasmine and I decided to give Magic Carp a night off so we could take a walk around the kingdom together. It's such a romantic evening. Yeah. We're all for them, ladies and gentlemen, and they are all for one. And now, back to the tent and our last clue to the mystery clown. <laughs> Our mystery clown was also known as a world-famous liar. Okay, circus fans, do you know who the mystery clown is? Take a good look. We'll find out right after this. Have you figured out who our mystery clown is yet? Not really, Scott. If I had just one more clue. It's David Leisure. You know, if I just knew what show he was on. Star of Empty Nest. You know, it almost seems I have the feeling that I know him. He made his film debut with you in the movie Airplane. I've got it figured out. It's David Leisure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for finally figuring it out, Leslie. I knew I'd figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, David, you've played a perfect, a perfect liar, a great mooch, and now, best of all, you're a clown. Thanks, Scott. I had a great time. <laughs> thanks, right. guys. See you later. Good to see you, David. Nice to see you with hair. <laughs> What a sensational evening this has been, thanks to all our stars who spent so many hours learning those really spectacular acts. Now it's time for Mickey and his pals. <laughs> all right. Well, I think uh, that everyone ought to know that they tried coming up with several different things like walking on 20-foot stilts and then jumping through hoops of fire and training wild rhinoceros. They finally decided on an act that they can do perfectly. <laughs> Everybody ready? I want to be sure. Oh, 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 boy. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, Hi. that's what they're famous for, the act of making children happy. Hey. Hi. 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 Hey, how you Hi. doing? Hi. 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 So from Harry Anderson in Toontown, and all of us here in the tent, may all your days be circus days. Transportation for Circus of the Stars goes to Disneyland, provided by Delta Airlines, the official airline of Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Delta, you'll love the way we fly. Accommodations for Circus of the Stars goes to Disneyland, provided by the Disneyland Hotel.